Welcome to the Historical Society of Mendocino County, located in Ukiah, California. We are a nonprofit that collects, preserves, and shares the diverse history of Mendocino County. On site, we have the William J. and Molly Tony Archive, which houses our collection, and the Held Pogue Memorial Home, which is a living history museum. Before we learn more about each of these buildings, I would like to give you a brief history of the Historical Society itself, which will celebrate 65 years in 2021. In May 1956, a group of citizens interested in preserving Mendocino County's history met at the Palace Hotel in Ukiah, California, and formed the Mendocino County Historical Society. Five years later, we incorporated as a nonprofit. One of our first projects was the restoration of the Little Red Schoolhouse that sits on Highway 20 between Willits and Fort Bragg. The restoration was completed in 1963, and the schoolhouse remains today. We did not have a permanent location until 1969, when the family of Judge William Held and Ethel Pogue loaned their family home to us to use as our headquarters. The family said that if we survived for 20 years, we could have the house. After a few renovations, we officially moved in the following April and opened a research library. Almost right away, we started to receive so many donations that we were quickly running out of room in the house. So we set out to create a museum to store and share the history of Mendocino County. After much fundraising, we raised enough money to build the Mendocino County Museum in Willits, California. The museum was dedicated on June 11, 1972, and handed over to the County of Mendocino. In 1988, the Held Pogue Home was added to the National Register of Historic Places. The following year marked 20 years in the house, and ownership was transferred to the Historical Society. By the 2010s, our collection had again outgrown the house, so we decided it was time to build an archive on-site. In 2016, the archive was completed and the collection was moved into the new facility. With the house emptied of records, we began the restoration of the Held Pogue Home. When complete, it will be a living history museum reflecting the life of Judge William Held and his family, as well as reflecting the formative years of Mendocino County. William Held's family moved to Ukiah in 1889, when he was just 15 years old. Held became a lawyer, and in 1903, he married Ethel Pogue, a local grammar school teacher. They built their family home the same year. They had one son, William, in 1909, and adopted a daughter named Catherine, who was born in 1911. Throughout his career, Held served three terms on the California State Assembly, was foreman of the Mendocino County Grand Jury, served on the Ukiah City Council, and was elected mayor of Ukiah. He served as a Superior Court Judge of Mendocino County for 12 years and retired in 1945. Ethel passed in 1953 and William followed in 1968. Today, the Held Poke Home is being restored to look as it did when the family lived in the house. When the Society moved into the house, they built wall-to-wall bookshelves to store the books and records. The first part of the restoration was removing all of these shelves. The next step was finding someone to replicate the faux wood grain pattern that once donned the doors, door frames, and baseboards. Regrettably, when the society moved into the house, they painted all of the wood white. Luckily, a few doors and sections of the baseboard behind the built-in bookshelves escaped the white paint so that we could sample the original faux wood grain pattern. Kanai Painting was able to develop a technique to replicate it and is currently applying it to all of the white painted wood in the house. Next, the wood floors are being restored to their original color and period-appropriate wallpaper and furnishings will be selected. What remains of the judge's furniture is being repaired and restored. The kitchen was mostly unchanged by the society, thus requiring minimal work to restore. It was actually a later addition to the house and was built when the Held family adopted Catherine and converted the original kitchen into her bedroom. Now let's take a look at the future of the historical society. The archive was completed in 2016 thanks to many generous donations from members of the community and local businesses. It consists of the main archive and five annex rooms. It is fully climate controlled and outfitted with a HEPA filtration system to eliminate ambient mold spores. The archive is windowless to prevent damaging UV rays and all of the interior lights are LED. It houses roughly over a million documents 
maps, newspapers, photographs, and more. Annex rooms one through three are repository rooms for general collections, as well as our large document storage. Large documents include maps, certificates, blueprints, building plans, and more. Annex room four is our intake room. When items are donated, they are first brought to the intake room for inspection. If mold or bugs are detected, they can be isolated and resolved, preventing cross-contamination with the larger collection. Annex Room 5 is the Judy Pruding County Records Room, which holds county records such as the Great Registers, Tax Assessment Rolls, Sheriff's Logs, and more. The main archive holds our offices, lobby, and public research facility, where our volunteers and staff can assist the public with research. The newspaper room holds all of our hard copies of newspapers from all over the county. The Robert J. Lee photograph room holds our most sensitive photographs, negatives, film, and newspaper microfilms. Finally, the main archive building has two large repository rooms where our general collections are stored. Right now we are in the middle of archiving our entire collection from the ground up. This process includes organizing and documenting each collection, and rehousing them in archival quality materials which will prolong their life. The next step will be to digitize our entire collection, which will help us streamline the research process and make our collection more accessible to the public. Most importantly, we will no longer have to handle the original documents. For example, here is a 160-year-old copy of the Mendocino Democrat that has been well stored and remains relatively strong. Next to it is a stack of papers that are about 90 years old and have been stored in an unstable environment. When paper is exposed to years of fluctuating temperature and humidity, among other factors, it can become incredibly brittle and crumbly. Even gently transporting the stack to this table has caused pieces to fall off. Once these papers are scanned, we will be able to reference the digital copy for research and retire the original document to permanent storage, prolonging its life. We are in the process of constructing a large format scanning station. A rack that will hold our high definition camera will be mounted to this 11 foot ceiling and large documents will be placed on the table below, which can be moved up or down depending on the size of the document. Scanning our documents in this way will cause the least amount of damage because we will not have to flip them over as one would with a flatbed scanner. The final step will be entering all of the collection's data and digital copies into our museum software, which will serve as a catalog of our holdings. Today's presentation does little justice to the thousands of people who gave generously of their time, money, and histories over 60 years. Tens of thousands of hours and millions of dollars have gone into the Historical Society, as well as the Mendocino County Museum, the Little Red Schoolhouse, and many other projects. The challenges of working under the cloud of the pandemic have been hard on everyone. We hope to lift that cloud a bit by offering this peek into the work we do here. When we reopen our grounds to the public, we will have a newly restored living history museum in the Held Pogue home and a cutting edge research facility at the archive. Looking ahead, we will continue to ask for your donations of time and money. We need and deeply appreciate your generosity in the months to come. In return, we will have something truly exceptional to offer our members, our county, and the world at large.